This is SOLIDWORKS Tutorial Lesson 3.3. In this lesson, we're going to use the sweep tool to make some bike handlebars. So what we're going to do is start by drawing a sketch. It's going to be a 3D sketch, so we're going to do the drop down of this sketch and go to 3D. Our specs are given in this picture here. We're going to make these handlebars, and here's all of the dimensions. As you can see, they've only done one side because it's symmetrical here in the middle. So we're going to focus on just this one side. Alright, so let's start in our 3D sketch. We'll start here at the origin and go outwards and travel along in this direction. Alright, so going back into our sketch, we can see that we are now drawing in a 3D sketch. We didn't have to pick a plane to draw on. And if we start with the line, then you see a little x, y right on the cursor. That means that if we click on the origin and we're drawing a line, it will draw in that plane that's in yellow. So that's the x, y plane. If we hit the tab key, then it will toggle between the different planes. That's the y, z plane. And last of all is the z, x plane. So we want to draw this first line in the z, x plane. Remember that this was 50 and our picture was in millimeters. So let's go ahead and hit escape because we're in inches. We'll go up here to Options, Document Properties, Units, and change from inches to millimeters and hit OK. So now we're set to go and we'll draw that line again. It keeps us in the ZX plane that we were drawing in before and we'll go ahead and come out about 50. And If you can remember, we'll kind of follow the same shape that those handlebars went in. It curved out like this and then straight forward and then this is where it actually curved down whereas if we're still drawing in the ZX plane we can't draw downward. So we're going to hit tab until we get in a plane that will work. This one here will work. It's the XY plane. So we'll go ahead and go down and then we want to go back. The XY plane won't work for that so we'll hit tab again and this one will. So we just want to go backwards. Alright, so if we have the main shape of our handlebars, we can hit escape to stop drawing lines. And we want to start dimensioning this. Let's line ourselves up isometrically. So we'll start putting in dimensions. This first one is going to be 50. So you can see that the dimension comes off the top. Dimensions in 3D sketches are a little bit different because they have to dimension a component of that line. You can see that there's a relation here that's along the X axis and this one is along the Z axis. That's actually a relation that we can put in if we click in a line. We have these three options. We can move them along an X, Y, or Z. So those ones snapped automatically when we were drawing. Alright, we'll look at the drawing again and see this next one is a dimension from here to here that's 210 millimeters. So we're actually going to go back into SOLIDWORKS and we're going to try and make that dimension. Let's try first by just clicking on these points here. If we click on those points, we're left with a dimension that kind of comes off diagonally. And that isn't what we want. So let's hit escape. Let's try and select on something else. Let's try this whole line over here going to that point. That works a lot better because we can see that that line is blue, light blue, which means that the whole line is being dimensioned, and this whole line is the other side of the dimension. So that one will work, so we'll drop that down and put 210. All right, let's go back to the picture. Let's look for this 20 and this 70. So the 20 is dimension between this point and this point, but like we learned with this one, let's pick this line so that we can see the right dimension. Sometimes it just takes trying a couple of lines to see which ones work. So that one is now 20, and this one should be easier. It's just 70, the dimension of that line. And because of the plane it's drawn in, it goes down from that which is okay. Just want to make sure it's the right dimension. 
All right, back to our drawing. It's 140 down and then 170 backwards. 140 down. And zoom out a little bit. And 170 backwards. All right, so we want to fully define this sketch, and like we learned in 2D sketches, to do that we can click on dots and move them around to see how they move. This kind of goes in a circular way. That line is going up and down all the way in a circle, and it keeps all of the dimensions that are put in there, but it can still move around. So we want to somehow restrict that from moving. Um, and the way that we can do that is that we want to think about planes. The top plane is the very top of our 3D sketch. So we'll go ahead and make that visible by clicking on these glasses button. And so we can click on that anytime we want. And let's click on this line here. That brings up a lot of new relations that we haven't seen before. We can make that line normal to that plane or on the plane. So let's go ahead and make it on the plane. So that moved it down. And now our sketch is fully defined. We can go ahead and hide this plane because we don't need it. Click the glasses again. All right, so everything is black. The last thing that we need to do is add these radii. So let's remember these. It's 100, 30, 40, 70. 130, 40, 70. We'll probably forget. You guys will probably remember better than me. But let's go ahead, oh, not smart dimensions, we want to actually put in the sketch fillet. So these are the entities to fillet, we're going to click on these ver vertices. This first one is going to be 100, so we'll go ahead and add that in and accept that fillet. It stays in the fillet tool because we're going to add another one. Let's go ahead and click on this vertex here. Gives us this error and says that that fillet couldn't be added because the specified radius would eliminate one of the elements. 100 millimeters is too big for this curve. That one is actually 40. So we'll go ahead and insert that in and click enter. And we actually lost the connection for that, so we'll have to insert in the tool again. Make sure we click on this vertex and click our drawing again. 30, 40. Might have messed up. You guys are probably laughing at me. 30 for that radius and accept that and now it's 40 and it is to fill it click that one these ones all work because they're not too big and then the last one was 70 last and he did a fill it all right so we've got all of those fillets in our sketch is fully defined and all of our radii and dimensions are in and good. Try and clean it up the best you can so all of those dimensions are visible. And then we can go ahead and exit the sketch. So you do that by clicking the drop down, click on this 3D sketch button, and we're out. So you can see that this 3D sketch is here in the design tree, and we're ready to go. We want to draw a cross-section circle around the endpoint of one of these. So we're going to draw a new sketch. And we were smart, and we started this sketch up here at the origin, so that lines up perfectly with the right plane. So we'll go ahead and draw that sketch on the right plane. And these handlebars should be one inch in diameter. Remember that we're in millimeters, but that won't matter, because when we smart to mention it, when we put in one inch and hit enter, it automatically converts it to millimeters for us. So that's perfect. So we'll go ahead and accept that. That sketch is fully defined, so we'll exit it. And do the isometric view one more time so we can see it. So that looks good. We're ready to use the sweep tool. So we'll go to features and swept boss base. You can see that there's nothing put in these fields to start with so if we hit cancel and we click on both of those sketches we'll try and see if SolidWorks is smart enough to put those in the right fields so now when we click on the swept boss base it does it for us what SolidWorks will do is it will look for a closed sketch for the profile and an open sketch for the path 
So it, it was smart enough this time to do it for us. We can see that the preview is good and we can go ahead and accept that. So now we have half of the handlebars. We want to make the other half, all oh, this part over here, by mirroring it along that middle plane. And we're lucky again, we did good planning and our right plane is actually right in the middle. So we're going to come up here and click on this mirror button and for this mirror face we want to click on that right plane. So I like to imagine this is actually the mirror that we're looking into and everything that goes into the mirror will repeat itself on the other side. So features to mirror will actually be this sweep. So we can click on it here. This full preview is showing us all of the lines and circles as it goes around. And then we can go ahead and accept that because that's what we want. So we can see that our handlebars are done. If we want to, we can change this view, this display style, to not have those lines. We have some pretty cool handlebars there. So there you have it.